Hello everybody, welcome back to Unhyped Sneaker Reviews. This is Club C Collector, and I have, you guessed it, a Club C that I, actually, it's been a couple months, I actually found this and posted on IG Stories, because it was a pretty darn good uh, deal that it came out with, and this is size 11, Club C Keith Herring Men's. GZ1458. So, um, this was a five piece collab that came out in October 2021, so about a year ago. Um, it had five different silhouettes um, in the collaboration. Two were versions of Club C. So, there was a, um, a red Club C Legacy that I'm interested in. I'd like anybody who knows anything about it, about the materials to let me know um and the other one was this just club c 85 and i didn't really get into it when it was set to release so um it was on my radar and i just let it go right past i for whatever reason assumed that the quality wasn't going to be there um and i just let it pass and said hey maybe i'll check it out later but I didn't, at that time, I had no plans. Well, throughout the course of about eight months, this sneaker, this colorway has really grown on me. Um, and I decided I, if I could find it in my price range, it was uh, originally, retail was $80 for this. So I figured if I can get it, you know, for less than half price or around there, I would grab them. And I think I ended up paying just a little bit over half of what they retail was um so anyway um this and keith herring very famous um artist um so reebok with this collaboration their attempt was to bring herring's art design um and make them more accessible um to this generation to you know because they it's it's based on the 1980s street culture in um, New York. Okay, well, that's the same time that Reebok in the 80s was laying their foundation, you know, in American culture, making themselves relevant, was the 80s. So there's a connection there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So Heron's thought process, his beliefs, his actions, everything regarding his art, street art, um, street culture as a whole, his quote that he's famous for is, and I love this one. The public has a right to art. And that's just simple to the point. Very much like Herring's, you know, this sneaker, these images. You know, it's it's not complex or intricate. They're simple to the point, you know, images. And that's what I think grew on me so much. There was, you know, they weren't pulling any punches. It is what it is. It was what it was. They aren't trying to make you see something that wasn't there. So... Um, the Herring Collection, you know, it evens out, like I was kind of talking about, from bold and colorful to clean and wearable. You know, this one, definitely not colorful, a little bit bold, um, but the other ones are, are a little bit more bold and colorful. This one, definitely clean and wearable. So, um, they all represent a specific, all five silhouettes from this collaboration represent a specific Herring work, um... And this one is his, you know, infamous dancing figures. Um, and a lot of them are from the subway blackboard chalk drawings. And they're all to spread his message of peace and love. And this uh, Club C draws specific inspiration from his pop shop. Um, and this was the exact print that or adorned or covered his wall in his pop shop in New York. Um you know, back in the late 80s, um, Herring, iconic artist, um, known for pop and graffiti type inspired art, um, unfortunately, he passed away, um, a little over the age of 30 in about 1990, complications to, um, the disease or AIDS, um, but so much has come out of this posthumously, I'm not pronouncing that right. But after his death, so many awards and so much recognition. You know, it's a shame, but such is the 
such as uh, the the act, you know, how it works is someone a lot of times doesn't get their, um, you know, get recognized until after they've passed on. Anyway, that's behind the sneaker. Looking at the sneaker itself, it's in Club C85. You know, you can see it has a cool insole, nothing special. doesn't have the, the bandages, the arch internal there. has the... A normal window branding box with uh, no, you know, black and white though with the Union Jack, um, and then we are just, you know, adorned or covered in his infamous characters, and then just go around the shoes. Got a very cool co-branding tag. Only one set of laces with these. Honestly, I don't think I could do with another one. I think this is, you know, if it isn't broke, you don't want need to try to fix it. Um, and same thing with this one. Everything's about the size. Saying this is a size 11, so it should fit fine. Um, I serious. Uh, when I say though, give me some feedback on the legacy, the the red one. I really dig it, but I need to know about the quality. Like this one, I was so nervous about. You know the the quality of leather with this. I am pretty sure. Again, I can't get answers from Reebok. They won't answer my questions, but I'm quite sure. I don't know if I'm sure, but I, my idea is this is the same process that they used in the Compo Eames um, silhouette with the painting over the top because, you know, this is leather. It's a, you know, and I'm not familiar with the process or I wasn't with the Compo. This looks very similar to that. So anybody has information about the process they use for this? Um, you know, to be able to have the leather, nice leather, and still, you know, have the pictures on them. So, you know, you're getting both both, uh, the, both sides of good with that. So, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Um, give me some feedback, please. Love to hear from you. And I'll be back again shortly. This is C, and I am out.